It is 10 o'clock and we want to get you to breaking news of fire on the south side where people were trapped. WGN's Patrick Elwood is live from 58th and Peoria right now with that story. Patrick. Micah and Ray, good evening to you once again. Since uh, the 9 o'clock hour, we do have a bit more information. We know that three people were trapped inside this home. They're all rushed to the hospital. So this is what we can tell you at this time. They're still trying to sort things out, but what we can tell you. Their conditions vary from serious to critical. One gentleman walking by, coming back from a nearby store, Charles is his name, says that he called 911 after he saw smoke coming from the two-story home here in the Englewood neighborhood built in the early 20th century, but they were unable to get out because the home had burglar bars. I was walking past, coming from the gas station, and I seen some smoke coming out the apartment, the house, and I called 911, the fire department, some people in there, two, at least two people. And where were they in the place? In the, like in, the room, in their bedroom. Were they trapped? Or they yes, because of, of the gates on the windows. So when firefighters arrived, they had to make entry in the rear of the home. They rescued two people. A third had to jump out of a window. It's two females and one male. Conditions vary from serious to critical. Now it's the job of the uh, officers from fire investigation to figure out how all of this started in the first place. We're live at 58th and Peoria. Patrick Elwood, WGN News, Ray and Micah. Back to you in the studio. All right, Patrick, thanks. Chicago police are searching tonight for four men suspected of gunning down a retired city firefighter Thursday during an attempted carjacking. They're seeing that new video release today, and WGN's Brona Tumulty joins us now.